Micah Parsons as he does every, I guess, Tuesday on his podcast after a Cowboys game uh, with Bleacher Report. He had a lot to say about the media's scrutiny of his man Dak Prescott and the Cowboys in general. Here we go. I just don't condone the bashing of Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys and have the same energy for the Eagles. We want the same energy for everybody because there's a whole bunch of bashing when it's Dak Prescott, but not the same when it's the Eagles. I got time today. A lot of people said the Browns defense was overhyped. I said the Browns are the real deal. Acho said this, which pissed me off. I'm not worried about the 49ers. They were missing Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel. The Browns were missing Deshaun Watson, Nick Chubb. They were missing them key factors before the game even started. So why is it that we are just scrubs and we're nobodies that don't deserve to be on the field and we're just all talk? But there's a hundred excuses for these other these other teams. If y'all just want to hate Cowboys Nation, just say y'all hate Cowboys Nation. I'm tired of people trashing my quarterback. I'm tired of people trashing my team. And that's why I had nothing to say to the media this week. You want to hear me talk? Come to hear me talk on The Edge Monday night. And that's point blank period. Oh, wow. So he I hadn't heard that part, Rob, where he's cutting off. After the listening to him, I, I'm, I don't want to hear him. Thank you. After hearing that, <laughs> that well, dribble. Well, go ahead. You, 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 he, he got Dude, your Dude, that's goat, typical. So this first. is just the, the unsophisticated, why are you so dumb on us? You're the Cowboys. What part don't you get? You're the freaking Cowboys, Micah Parsons. You're not playing for the Carolina Panthers. It's so ridiculous that he would get on and bellyache. You're on every damn pre- and primetime game more than anybody else in the effing league. I'm so mad. Come to Breacher Report and hear me talk. That's why I didn't talk to the media. Because you won't get any quick questions. We're here to dribble. There's no pushback. What fan in their right mind wants to hear Micah Parsons cry? Like a big baby. Oh, it's a lot to do when they hear that. You Win know. some games, damn it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> you don't understand it? The Cowboys haven't been to an NFC Championship game, Chris, since when? 1995. No, since Moby Dick was a guppy. That's <laughs> why. You got an owner who has a radio show or on the radio all the time. Come on, dude. Don't Rob, be that naive. You hit it on the head. Stop it. He is right. I think you're even saying that. Yeah, you're right, Micah. There is more energy for the Cowboys than there are for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry. That's how it is. There's more energy for Dak Prescott than there is for Joshua Dobbs. All right? That's the first thing. You are America's team. I know they haven't won since you've been alive, but you are America's team. And, Rob, just like I say it, in the NBA, the glamour team is the Lakers. In Major League Baseball, the glamour team is the Yankees. Everything you do in those three organizations, including the Cowboys, is magnified. And good, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't matter. And 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 let me get to the owner before I give the good, because you're absolutely right. And that's what Micah needs to see, the good. But Jerry Jones, unlike any owner in sports, has a weekly show. Where, Rob, where who was on the who was on the pregame Monday night? Was it the GM, Stephen Jones? No. Nope. Was it the head coach? No. Nope. Was it a player? It was Jerry freaking Jones, the owner. And because your owner is constantly running his mouth, and because your owner is saying controversial, newsworthy things. He puts you and your teammates under the microscope. That's why there is not the same energy for other teams. But there's a positive, Micah. Rob, who's the most talked about defensive player in the league? I don't know why, but it's him. Because he's a cowboy, Micah Parsons. Is he having a better year than T.J. Watt? No. Is he having a better career than T.J. Watt? No. But who's the one being compared to Lawrence Taylor? It ain't T.J. Watt. Is Dak, Pre- Dak Prescott hasn't made a Pro Bowl since 2018. Since 2018, he's made the same amount of Pro Bowls as Mac Jones. Who's That's one. 
All right? And yet he is treated, and he's not viewed as a superstar because people know he's not that level of player, but he is a celebrity because he's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And all the endorsement money, all the publicity that comes with you being a Cowboy, that's the positive. So, yeah, the negative is when you lose, you're going to get ripped more than your average team. I mean, you did get beat by 32. And you did get beat by the one-win Arizona Cardinals. You happen to be there one win. So, there's that too, Rob. It, it just it, it just mind-boggling. I, I really... Like, it's just, to me, it's just mind-boggling. People, A, want to cover themselves and think like they're giving you some honest take. It is, for a lot of these guys, it's the most dishonest take that they could give fans. And they fans could flock there because fans are derived from the word fanatic. I get it. But it's dishonest. And that's why, Chris, team websites don't have the traffic that established Uh, real news gathering organizations do because people see through it and know what it is. Okay. When, when the team is running the site and it's just fine if that's what you're interested in, but don't make it like you can't understand the difference between you and the, and the Carolina Panthers or you and the Tampa Bay Bucks or you and uh, you know, one of these other teams, Chris, like you, that you don't, you have no idea why they're why they're talking about the Cowboys in such uh, uh, such pressure and, and intensity, dude? This is this is uh, basics. We all know that. Did the Yankees have a? Did everybody let the Yankees go away quietly when they didn't make the playoffs this year? They got killed. Nope. Chris, they got killed. Yep. The GM, the manager, Judge Stanton, all those guys—they got killed. Stop. When you're the big dog, this is what happens. You get all that love when you're winning, and you get all that pushback when things aren't going right. Right. I don't think the Cowboys are mistreated or anything. They probably get, for a team that that has won three playoff games in the last 28 years, probably gets way too much coverage anyway. No, they do. That's my point, Rob. They do, and that's – look – if they were playing as they've been playing and they were in, as you said, Carolina, they wouldn't be getting this much pub. Now, they're, they're, they would be viewed as a good team, 4-2, and two, good win over the Chargers, blew out some bad teams. But also, Rob, people would, people would look at them getting housed by the Niners, and you know what they would say, Rob? They're not for real. They, oh, they, they beat up on these little chumps. They're not for real. And a lot of people said that, with the Cowboys, but I also think, Rob, a lot of people still are giving the Cowboys a chance. And as you said, they are at the top of every show. I it, we didn't we didn't treat the Niners loss to the Browns or the Eagles loss to the Jets. Now, I mean, we as individuals, me and you, the odd couple, and also just the ma- the media in general, we didn't. But all that, Rob, it's, it's, some of that also is on the fact that your owner has turned the Cowboys into, like, uh, they're more than a football franchise. They're like, I've, I've said it, they're like a soap opera. They're a drama. And so all of that feeds into it. And that is what, you know, Micah Parsons is experiencing. He may not know, Rob. I mean, how old is he, 23? They haven't won anything since he's been alive. It's possible he doesn't know, but we explaining it to you. It's because you're the Cowboys. And there are benefits to it as well. And so you, he's got to understand that and take the good with the bad. Just turn the way in. Micah Parsons says, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys get far too much scrutiny in the press. And it ain't fair. Your thoughts. All right, let's kick it off with Darrell in uh, San Antonio. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? Hey, how you fellas doing again today? Oh, great. Uh, What's up, man? We good. You know, I'm, a, I'm a big Cowboy fan, but Michael Parsons talked too much. Um, he's He's been in the league for three years. He, he has the potential to be a great player. But all of these comparisons to LT and Lawrence Taylor, I think, have gone to his head. To me, I call him Waldro 
like Waldo because he's disappeared near the end of the season the last two years. Yep. Yeah. And I think he's right now, down. yeah. To me, he's more known right now for beating Tyree Hill in a sprint at the Pro Bowl than anything he did on the field. So he got to <laughs> remember Jerry Jones is more concerned about the Cowboys' value than winning Super Bowls. To me, Jerry Jones will be happy being the most valuable franchise in the world over winning the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are going to get that attention because Jerry Jones pushing that out there. That's something he got to deal with. But go it's going it's to be interesting. You know what, Darrell and Chris, uh, and, and I'm not, but, but what happens with that franchise when Jerry's not there? Just do you know what I mean? Will it have exactly the same appeal? I think I don't think it will. I Look, really don't. I mean, when he's, there's no doubt, Rob, he's been good for business. No, no, no. That's There's what I'm no saying. Because right, they right. haven't been a good team, and yet they are always still since he in took the media over. <laughs> and the value, right? Since they won those, you know, those Super Bowls, got rid of Jimmy Johnson. But the the value of the team has skyrocketed. It would have anyway, but it probably did even more so with him. Right. I think it would you make have, a good right. point. If they're, I mean, if they're not good, they'll fade a little bit. I mean, they'll still be the Dallas. Yeah, Cowboys. right. I'm he, just saying. I agree with that. I, I, he's in hand. He, I don't think he's helped the football, but from business standpoint, he definitely has. Right. Tom in Pensacola, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What up, Tom? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, big fans of the show. Big fans Thank of you. Pers- Thank you, man. Uh, listen, Thank but you. I got to disagree with y'all, man. Dak gets way too much hate and blame. He throws 15 picks. Everybody's out to get him. Josh Allen throws 15 picks. He's on the cover of Madden. All right, Jimmy Johnson said this summer that if he was coming back to coach, he wanted Justin um, Herbert to be his quarterback. Since Justin Herbert came into the league, he has thrown 13 fourth-quarter interceptions and nobody wants to talk about that. We the talked Chargers about it last all, night. We talked about that yesterday. We talked about it last night. The Chargers. Well, we not- yeah, though, but y'all don't. Hold on, guys. Y'all know y'all don't talk about it as much as y'all do Dak, all right? Justin Herbert has lost 20 one score games since he came to the league. 20, all right? And then Sala, at the end of the game, where they beat uh, the Eagles, says, we have we played all these quarterbacks and we've embarrassed all of them. Go look at Dak's stat line against the no, Jets. We, the, Robert uh, Sala did I, not embarrass them. I talked about them. that on television yesterday. First things first. We did say Dak obviously didn't get embarrassed. He had a great game against Sala and the Jets. We'll give you that. But here's here's the thing, though. A lot of these guys, you, you mentioned, you brought up Josh Allen and Dak Prescott. Yeah, Josh Allen threw 14 interceptions in 16 games. Dak, of course, threw, what, 15 in, in 12. 12 games. And hold on, Josh hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You hold on. Hold on. It's Josh, receiver. we'll let you speak. It don't matter about where the, what they hit the receiver's hands. We can do that with every quarterback. And here's the other thing. Josh Allen threw for 35 touchdowns, and Dak only threw for 23. It's so a don't big leave difference. that part out right. either. All right, appreciate the call, and thanks, yeah. Tom. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for the support. Uh, we, we do appreciate you listening. Uh, let's go to uh, Ricky. In Florida, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Ricky? Hey, what's up, Rob? Chris, thanks for the call. Uh, yes, before sir. Before I weigh in, um, I called in a couple of months ago. I was telling you about my mom. She had cancer. She's being at a worship Wednesday. Oh, she, it's she been a year it? now. No, oh, that's she great, don't. Man. No, she did no chemo, and it's gone. The prayers must have worked. The wow. doctors can't even figure it out. It's unbelievable. So I just want to thank you for that. God bless. Yeah, we're God in. bless you, man. That's great. All right. But now when it comes to Mr. Parsons, uh, I, this is the kind of problem I have with these young guys doing these podcasts. Like, you, your job is to play football. You beat up on the Jets. You beat up on the Giants. And then now you have to play big big boy Sam Fran. You talked a lot of smack before the game. And then when you get beat 42 to 10, now you, your, your feelings are hurt. Yeah, it, put your big point pass on. And it's just, you know. Stop talking about it. I don't know if he's doing it for his podcast and all that, but your feelings shouldn't be hurt. This is what you do. Thanks. Right. I, I, right. And, and, and you know yeah. what? Chris, it's, it's just like us, okay? And we say this all the time. If we're doing a radio show three hours a day, five days a week, and, and nobody is bothered by what we're doing, Chris, it, it said we haven't moved the needle at all, right? Like the right. Cowboys, it, it, it means you matter, that people right. care enough for you that it matters. Absolutely. I don't understand why people don't get that. If you yeah. lost to the Cowboys to the to the 49ers, Chris, by 32, and nobody said anything about the Cowboys, what would that tell you? 
that they had no expectations for you. They don't think right. much of you, and that's what should have happened to you. Right. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So, uh, but yeah, Micah, you, I, got, you know, look, go ahead. We got another one. Go one more. Let's squeeze t- uh, Chili Tim in Atlanta in real quick. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, Tim? What up, bro? What up, Chris, on this worst what's, Wednesday? What's up, man? Yeah, good deal. You know, uh, you too, man. You know, uh, I, I have my, my doctorate in psychology, but I don't even have to use that to explain what's going on here, Chris. Rob. <laughs> it's all about the 49ers. They living in his head and the Cowboys' head for free. He didn't say anything. He, he's talking because he's still comparing that beatdown to de- the 49ers. We gave them, and now he's comparing it to the Browns. That's all this is about. He's still, his feelings are still hurt yep. about that beatdown. Bro, come on, man. Just, just confess and tell what it really is. The 49ers is living rent free in you guys' head, man. And until you beat them, <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> well, and, and look, the, the game to compare to the losses this weekend from the Eagles and the Niners is the loss to Arizona. If they had not lost to the Niners, or even, Rob, if they had lost and it was a close game, this would be different. But you got housed by the 49ers. You got housed. And so you you can't – it's hard. I, I get it. The Eagles and the Niners, it was a bad bad losses for them, teams they should have beat. But you had that against Arizona, and then you had a, a actual full beatdown from a good team. So 